everyone welcome back to my channel thank you all for clicking on this video if you are new my name is stephanie today we're going to be talking about john wick chapter 3 parabellum not really a review or a recap it's going to be more of what my thoughts overall were of the film uh and maybe just like a few spoilers here and there but i'm not really reviewing the film in com completely million dollar bounty on his head and every wood in the city wants a piece of it i say the odds are about even you guys are probably like girl it's been a month get over it do something else i know i should be over it but like i really love the john wick series so an opening weekend i just <laughs> haven't done the review for it let's get on with it All right, so John Wick 3 Parabellum. It is a thriller mystery. It's two hours and 10 minutes long. It's rated R. Uh, came out May 17th. Our director was Chad Stileski. Yeah, no, I can't say the stuff right. Uh, of course, it stars Keanu Reeves, Halle Berry, um, Ian McShane. And then here's a fun little fact that I've never been able to do before because I always review this before the movie comes out. Uh, so far, the box in the box office, it says me $277 million. So chapter three literally follows chapter two right, right there when they're running. He has that hour that they gave him before he has that big bounty on his head. The fight scenes, I mean, they're cool he's killing a lot of people it's awesome but in my opinion they were just too well choreographed like just overly choreographed like it didn't like go smoothly like i don't know the only fight scene that i actually enjoyed was probably with the dogs the organization like shut him off so he's fighting for his life and i knew there were going to be multiple people that he was going to have to defend himself against but it was just like a lot they also yeah. announced Halle Berry in this movie a lot and like she maybe had like a total of 20 minute screen time a lot of people liked it a lot of people didn't like it um I know we talked about it at work my co-worker didn't like it I had a drug rep come by he said he wasn't that fond of it it's probably his least favorite as well the one thing I feel that really 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 killed it for me was all the comedy that was involved in this no comedy in part one there's no comedy in part two part three did not need it but it got it. I really hope they don't try to put it in chapter 4. It, it was uh, another assassin who was trying to kill him. Finally took the opportunity was all like, I'm a big fan of yours. It was unnecessary. That final scene, so, uh, here goes a spoiler right here, when he was killing him and he wasn't dying. He, no joke. When he was with that, he was still talking. What came to mind was from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay, I'm going to play a clip now. You guys remember that? I literally, I was seeing him in my head. I was just like, oh my god, that's like Buffy. I do recommend it just because it continues the story. Maybe now just wait till it's on like Netflix or like Redbox it, uh, stream it online. I mean, it's still in theaters, dollar movies. Um, overall, it's my least favorite one honestly it really is i was very disappointed and i was like so looking forward to going to see this movie i was like yes i usually go just to screens but i actually pay to go see this movie so that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like this video if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button that would be amazing if you help my channel grow and of course don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you at concessions bye Bye.